think Ooh. he needs a little more practice. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, thanks anyway, Goose. But now it's time for some virtual skateboarding with Ollie Ollie 2. Welcome to Hollywood. Much like the first game, Oli Oli, in this sequel you'll control a skater through various levels performing a multitude of tricks and flips. Yes, the aim of the game is to complete challenges and rack up as many points as you can. These challenges can range from earning big scores, collecting items throughout the level, or nailing certain tricks in a single combo. Affirmative. There is an extensive list of all the tricks you can do in your trictionary, and it can be quite overwhelming to begin with. Yeah, I know what you mean, Darren. When I first started playing this, I was struggling to remember how most of the tricks were executed, and I kept having to go back and check how they were done. But after a while, you really get into the groove of the game, and everything starts to feel more intuitive. This time around, the levels are more complex, too. There are rails to grind at different heights, ramps that rocket you off for big air, and various obstacles to weave around while shredding your way through. But we should talk about the new stuff they've added to this game. There are three new main mechanics. The manual, the revert, and grind switching. They all add intensity to the levels as you're constantly incorporating them into your combos. Yeah, these are great for stringing all of your tricks together, and it's awesome when you can get through a whole level just with one single massive combo. Although, the revert can be brutal when you're trying to nail the timing. Yeah, I found that really hard, especially the manual revert move. Oh, I found it to be rather easy myself. <laughs> the trick is to activate the manual just as your character is rotating during the revert. The timing for this can be a bit difficult for humans. Hitting it too soon or too late can ruin your entire combo. Ooh, poor yeah, I'm still struggling to get it down. Oh, of course you are, Barjo. What do you mean, of course, Darren? Oh, nothing, nothing. We're all very proud of you, Barjo. Yes, well, anyway, I'd like to give a special mention to the soundtrack. As with the last game, it's a perfect fit for this, with a good mix of slow and upbeat electronic music. There was even a dubstep track or two. Did you say dubstep? <laughs> All right, calm down, Darren. <laughs> My apologies. My dubstep receptor seems to be extra sensitive today. Well, that's okay. Well, along with the main campaign levels, there's also the pro levels. These unlock once all five challenges in the amateur level are completed. Yeah, and these pro levels add a layer of difficulty, which gives you new challenges and goals to try and reach. And apparently there are even harder levels to unlock after all the pro levels are completed. Ooh. And on top of this, there's a spots mode where you can juke it out on the leaderboards worldwide. Yeah, and the developers have said they're adding local split-screen multiplayer soon to the game. That would be awesome. But we should wrap this up, guys. What are you giving it, Bajo? Well, the mechanics of this game are pretty much perfect. I'm giving it four out of five stars. Yeah, this is a well-deserved sequel, and I had an awesome time, so I'm giving it four out of five stars as well. All right, Darren, it's time for you to dub skate off to do your Darren report. <laughs> he does like to drop the bass. He does. Better than dropping the ball, Bajo.